one general principle of the upper respiratory tract of which the nose is part of, or the nasal cavity, which is inside the skull, is that if only air will be touching an epithelium, it'll probably be a non-stratified or perhaps a pseudo-stratified uh, columnar ciliated epithelium. If something harder than air or water touches it, like tissue or food or other substance. It's probably going to be a stratified squamous. The nose is no uh, exception to that rule. Here we have epithelium of the nasal cavity. Uh, in the nasal cavity, we have three structures called uh, conchi. Sometimes they're called turbinate bones. And the intervening uh, recess underneath each turbini is called a meatus. There's a superior, a middle, and an inferior one. In the area of the superior one, not usually extending much below that, we have a specialized type of epithelium called the nasal olfactory epithelium. This is the area in which the sensation of smell takes place. It is also an area in which we can see a ciliated type of epithelium. And these are probably the best cilia that you'll ever see in your life, in which we have uh, cells here in which the uh, chemical process uh, changing uh, dissolved uh, molecules will eventually be translated into uh, nerve impulses. This is the olfactory epithelium and here's the basement membrane of the olfactory epithelium. And these cells are the actual nerve cells and probably some supporting cells as well. And here you can see uh, nice uh, cilia as well. Uh, here are glands which moisten the nasal olfactory epithelium because without the molecules dissolving, there can be no smell. And these glands look chiefly like serous glands, are called Bowman's glands. This epithelium, this tissue, this mucosa, or submucosa perhaps, in this area is also very, very, very rich in uh, blood vessels, especially veins, because this is where the air from the nasal uh, cavity is actually warmed by these veins. Notice in a portion of the uh, nasal cavity or any portions of the turbinates, in which there is no uh, nerve, in which there is no smell sense taking place. It is just a regular old stratified, I'm sorry, pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium with numerous goblet cells. Here are the cilia. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six goblet cells. And the rest of these are just simply columnar cells. Here's a large blood vessel. Uh, here's some bone because remember, these are uh, actually covering thin bones called nasal turbinates or conchi. And here is the portion of the uh, nasal cavity in which the epithelium is specialized into olfactory epithelium. And is there anything here that we can't identify? I don't think so. I think we pretty much nailed it down. Look how thin the bone can be. Look how nice and typical this pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium is. Look how very, very, very rich the underlying connective tissue is with veins in order to warm the air that travels through this cavity. And notice the general structure of the specialized olfactory epithelium, which will be sending out nerve fibers, which will eventually pierce the cribriform plate to uh, travel to the optic uh, bulb. Thank you very much.